microphones and other noise-making devices. Today is April 9th, 2015. That's not right. Today is... <laughs> <laughs> that was from last year. Real time Whoops. travel. <laughs> Today is April 7th, 2016. Yeah. This is... <laughs> wow. This is panel number 4801, Performance Together Again. My name is Lissy Garrison, and I'll be moderating today's panel of incredible artists. In addition to their impressive individual careers, both of these artists have a huge fan base in Boulder through their appearances with the CWA and the jazz concert. How many of you saw them on the jazz concert? Yeah. They were awesome. So we have guitarist and vocalist composer Gooding, um, according to their website, Gooding's band has performed 900 shows in 158 cities, presenting, and I'm quoting, soul-stirring, foot-stomping, widescreen rock and roll from the plains, which I think is one of the coolest descriptions of music ever. The band also inspires young people through a program designed to help teach financial literacy, and Gooding adds incredible energy to our jazz concerts, and awesome. he's been here, this is his fourth year with the CWA. Thank you. Yeah. And percussionist and composer Ronnie Barak. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Originally from Lebanon, Ronnie is internationally renowned for his mastery of the Darbuka, which is the Middle Eastern tabla, as well as for his compositions and performances. He is especially well known, I think this is very cool, for his work in video game concerts. Very cool. Yep. Uh, and we are completely delighted to have you back, Ronnie, after an absence of a few years. This is Ronnie's 11th year with the conference. Yeah. Thank you. And so this being a performance panel, um, the guys are going to perform. They have agreed that they will take some questions toward the end of the session, but I'll just turn it on over. When I play with Ronnie Brock, I have to get the jacket off. I have to get this. You know, <laughs> things get serious. I get moving. He comes over. He gets moving. You got to get strapped in the roller coaster here. Okay. <laughs> So, um, we made sure, just like the first time we ever met on that panel without ever speaking together, that we had no idea what we were going to do when we got here, because with a musician of this caliber, that tends to be the best way to find out something new, and my thought has always been, if I can get surprised up here, hopefully you'll feel surprised and a little bit of extra energy, so, where are you at? How's your day been? You want to just ease in, or you want to just... You know, I feel you great, actually. I feel great. You feel really good? Yeah. Good. I've had about 62 cups of coffee, so we better just get into this thing. Wow. I mean, are you feeling great? Yeah? Happy? <laughs> lovely Ooh. weather. Yeah. Mackie? Mackie? Oh, yeah. Great. So lovely to be back here, honestly, on Mackie, and especially with Gooding. The thing is with Gooding, um, it just is like challenging playing with this guy. Because, I don't know, sometimes you meet musicians and you get really like, the energy gets together. So, uh, so the first time I played with Gooding, uh, usually at CWA, I'm running around everywhere. So no time to maybe sit and talk, or, or like meet and play and jam. So really, I mean, w we meet at the panel, and this is what the thing is about. Yeah. About, you know, like, like challenging, challenging like, like, especially musicians on stage, like when we meet on a panel. So uh, yeah, I mean, it has been great playing with you for the last couple of years, Gooding, and lovely to be back at CWA, and lovely to see you guys again, because I know you're very supportive to both of us and to the CWA as well. So great. Lovely to be back. Yeah. Can I get in there? Maybe like a couple of yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. What what it comes, you know. So <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Any questions? <laughs> yeah, you can. It's open. Yeah. <laughs> After warming up, it's great. Yes, please. The mic is there. So I know you might have like some, some questions, like how we do this. I don't know. So can you hear me? Can yeah. Hear me? First of all, welcome back. Um, I saw you the first time you were here. And uh, like me, you've aged a little bit. Well, very well, very well. You grew up with us, and, and CWA is so proud to have you here. Anyway, both of you. Anyway, so uh, my question is, what happens to your knuckles after you play a gig? We get to, we get to trouble in the guitar players a little bit different places. Um, you have to be careful with the wrist and making sure you're doing things that keep the blood flowing. I think as much as I consider, you know, good music a contact sport, I think that you probably are the one to answer the questions about the knuckles. Yeah, well, yeah I mean, the thing is I, uh, playing guitar is playing, you know, it's, it's different than playing the darbuka. The thing is by the time you will figure out how you know, how you want to play, how you want to use your technique. Uh, because I'm, I'm banging on, on a, on a plastic skin and metal instrument from here, so I have to really be careful how I use it. To get, first of all, to get the right sound, you know, to keep that right sound always happening, that's what I get out from my instrument. The most important thing is to get the sound. But by experience and technique, you know, I, I, I figured out a way that I use not to really feel tired after playing uh, strength, uh, sometimes I, I like, like oh, let's say, let, I mean, Tuesday when I played the jazz concert, because I use some of the bongos, some of the uh, uh, congas on my right uh, side. Sometimes I use the jambes and cymbals. So I get like sore hands afterwards, especially from the middle of my fingers. So a like, little bit sore. So if, you play, if I play like for, let's say, three, four hours and play really 40, then it's, it's quite, it gets quite sore. So that's, that's why after the concert, usually the second day, I don't play much. I just really stretch, relax, feel really cool. So, um, but, but to be honest, I don't think about it when I play. After I finish a concert, I think about, wow, I feel like, yes, great. If I've done it really right, I enjoyed myself, the pain goes away, no pain, you know? So, yeah. Any more questions? Hello. Okay. Uh, my name is Brayden. Um, do you guys mind if I take uh, pictures and video of you two today? You have to pay us. <laughs> I'll, I'll mention your names in the, oh, the pictures and the videos. I think it's awesome that you even asked, brother. Absolutely, please. We welcome it. Hey, Thank what's you. it that John Travolta, the primary color, said, I didn't come, I came here to get known. The guy's like, we came here to make music for you. That's our agenda. Sure, Whatever sure, of you want to do to share it, yeah, that's great. Sure, of so. course, yeah. yeah. I don't think uh, CWA uh, management they mind, so it's yeah. 
Unless we have a copy, it's fine, yeah. So, yeah. I'll come share them with you after the show. Great. <laughs> archives, archive. I keep everything for archives, actually. So, I mean, the thing with Gooding, we played like, uh, yeah, it's on YouTube. So, we've got good viewers already, yeah. <laughs> so, great. anyway. Uh, this yeah. was 2012. This is, um, I want to I wanna tell this story, actually, like about last, uh, last uh, 2012, when I did CWA, I had a panel with Gooding. And I went to Grusin Hall. And we didn't know even what, just like, as, as today. And I, I, I asked Gooding, I, I, I remember I asked you, I said, like, Gooding, can I try something on your guitar? He said, like, yeah, yeah, man, feel free, what, whatever. <laughs> he was just, like, surprised what exactly I want to do yes. with this guitar. So, and we've done it. And then it worked really great. And um, we repeated it at the concert, and it was great. So um, it worked with the electric guitar. It was really challenging for me. And believe me, I tried to do it after that with other guitar players somewhere in the world. It didn't work out the same way how I did it with these guys. It's so never going to work out the same really, way. Yeah. It's not the same girl, Ronnie. Fine. You know, you know <laughs> the thing is, the thing is because uh, we'll show you later, maybe. We might do it. Should we do it later? Not now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, what I, what I thought about, like, how I've done this thing with, with Gooding, like, the energy or the our minds were really connected together with right hand well i'm using my two hands on his guitar he's using his own left hand so the muting of the strings changing the chords the pattern the tempo all worked together in the same time so we were like really connected like one player is playing the groove exactly he knows what doing opening the strings closing the strings but in a fast way, not just like uh, playing, like if you play So you have to mute and open the strings on the guitar. I play a little bit of guitar, so I know what's how, how it goes. So the thing is, uh, we translated the ideas between each other, so. And I'm a failed percussionist. I started on drums, so a lot of times I'm looking down, I'm like, ooh, that's what my right hand wants to do, it just can't do it. So I can see it, and then, yeah, you have a note, you have this, you above the note, just barely touching the string, and all your guitar players are like, of course. But then you have nothing when you're muting everything. You have him hitting the string, which is kind of the bass tone. You have me hitting the string, which could actually also be on a note without the guitar. And then you have harmonics. That's where you barely touch it. This note here, if I push down, is a note. If I hit right over it, barely, it makes a bell. So I can be just setting on those, and as soon as he hits them, kind of hear the chord in there. So depending on how quickly I get off the, the string, yeah. it decides how long, whether it's like Morse code, whether it's going to be like young people are like, what is Morse code? It's going to be a little dot or a ah. And because he has over 27 fingers on his two hands, you don't see him till he's going <laughs> When he does that, these other things are doing other stuff. It's really cool. The thing is because, you know, I, I, I used to play guitar when I was like 14, 16, so like, let's say four years ago. Um, right. <laughs> so I, we grew I, up over two years here. Yeah, yeah that's Beautiful. right. So I always has, you know, have the interest of playing either guitar, but the rhythmical patterns. I love when the guitars plays the... It moves my my heart away, you know? Even the, even the guitar bass, when, the, when, when, when they play slapping technique, so, 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 so the same, I use the same technique, playing with these four fingers, exactly how I use it on Darbuka, like, or. You see, so, finger eight and nine already got out in there, see that? Yeah, so, so I'll try, you know, to, to use, like, some of the techniques I use on, on the darbuka and take it to the guitar. So, yeah, it's a finger technique and thumb technique as well. I use the thumb like that. We'll show you later, no problem. You know what we should do? Because every time we've done this, you, try, you, you always raise the game one level. I saw you had that brush out there when we were at the jazz rehearsal. Let me just tell you, too, about this jazz band, because obviously I'm, you know, I'm just setting in, but people asked me at lunch today, they, I was sitting with um, Tom Rattel and Marshall Gilks, and of course, the amazing Don Grizzin, and I said, how, much, how long did you guys rehearse for that? And Don was great, he's like, I was a couple, three weeks. 
these guys get together for like two or three hours with their charts and then put it together and they're flying in from everywhere. And then, you know, I'm sure every, some, some people do a little work before they get there, but it's really a meeting of all the people ask, uh, you know, the old story where you go up on the hill and uh, they said some uh, guy in Japan had commissioned a piece of art for a hundred thousand dollars. He said, you come back in a month, you have a month to make this piece of art. And the guy comes back to the temple and goes up, says, do you have a paintbrush? And he grabs it and he draws it right there. And the guy's like, I'm not going to pay you whatever, a hundred thousand dollars for two seconds work. He's like, well, it was my whole life to get to the place to be able to do that. That's right. You know, when you bring that together, even if you just get to set in a room, if you've done your work, if you've put in your time, if you've you know, committed your life to it, um, you should be able to join up. I want to raise the game once more because you had that brush over there at the jazz thing. Maybe we'll try Maybe put that in there and we'll do. Yeah. It's either going to be awesome or it's going to crash and burn. You know what I would like, Gooding? Uh, I would love you to, to, I would love to use for, for a change. I'm sure Gooding will agree. Uh, I want to do whatever you feel like, okay. even maybe singing or okay. just take it down a bit. Okay. Something peaceful, something slow, okay. meaningful, whatever. So I'm going to just like give Gooding a groove and you can go on wherever you go. So this is the Rick, beautiful instrument. I love it, by special maker Kivok. He's Armenian Lebanese, and he's the master of these two instruments. So it makes lots of, lots of difference when you play on a really, really beautiful, sounds great instrument. So yeah, here we go.
These are the harmonics. Beautiful. I just love it. You wouldn't believe all the sounds he made out of that one tambourine. It was unbelievable. <laughs> That's a beautiful instrument, man. It is. That is a beautiful instrument. Beautiful. It's a soundtrack out of one percussion yeah. instrument. Man. We should do like do something together. Yeah, yeah. Like a record or something. I brought uh, just I don't know. Good. I was afraid I had more guitars than you did drums. That would be messed well, up. I thought this morning when I woke up, like, let's see what is in the garage. Thank you, Barbara. Where are you? Where are you, Barbara? Thank you. My mom. Hey. I stole this pot from her garage. So, It's you amazing know. Barbara housed you all those years with you taking pottery and putting it in a show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like, lots of stuff. So I always like to challenge myself with, I'm not sure if I have used this before in the same instrument, actually, in CWA, but I'd love to play just a short solo on that. Yeah. Yeah, but so. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Man. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
We found some metal world B fusion on that one. R to the B. <laughs> go shake it off. I'm like, <laughs> You're pretty easy to play with, man. We need to get we need to record this stuff sometime, man. You're a wild man. I want to hear it. Let me speak to this. I think part of the reason you play percussion so beautifully is that you're 
people who, regardless of what instrument they're on, they're, they're musicians. You're always thinking of the other instrument. You're always thinking of the other players. You're empathetic to the other players. So I think probably having the multiple instruments also is affecting why you're such a sociopathic beast on all the, <laughs> the percussion stuff. No, I don't know. I just like I wanted to play you this tune. I love this tune. I have composed it in Border maybe three years ago, two years ago, or three years ago. So uh, because we have piano on stage, I thought, why not? We're here. So let's get the moment and play this tune I have composed on piano. To be honest, I haven't got a name for it, but after now, maybe I will. So, <laughs> hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Just to let you know that af after playing percussion, like you're <sighs> quite up, so playing piano is just pretty regular. So it's a bit shaky. So forgive me for any errors, huh? If. For change, yeah? Piano always like 
to be honest, I mean, I'll, I love piano as much. I love this instrument. So I'm a half percussionist. My half, half a percussionist, half a, a, a melody man. Like, I love melodies, I love harmonies. So that's why I love compositions for orchestras, for piano, for fusion bands. So music, it's all about music. So it's really, I agree with uh, Stephen uh, Kozniak, what I, was, what I saw him on, on Friday. He said, music is uh, magic, uh, the magic, uh, well, it's, dust, it's the magic yeah, dust the magic. of love, yes. yes. Beautiful, beautiful saying, I really love that. So, wow. How much time do we have? Yeah, no, this is short one, 4 to 4 50, right? How are we looking? What you got, 10 minutes? 10 minutes? Let's do it, good thing. A little bit questions? Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Why don't we do. Um, I hate questions. to. Why don't we do. Why don't we do. Because we, it was really put together last minute, and I wrote the song kind of last minute to try it. Let's do some of what we did at the jazz concert and yeah. see if we can move it up a level with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So That's I'll back me a little on this. I'll sing a little bit of that tune and we'll just go. I'll leave out my Bob Dylan respectful section. It's funny, my drummer was in the audience and, uh, for my band and he goes, man, you scared me for a minute. I was like, he said, Gooby, you were biting a little bit with that whole, you know, how many, how many rows does a man walk down? I was like, That's Dylan, because I don't do a lot of covers. And then I did the next three lines. He goes, He finally covered something. So the best way to test your lyrics is put some Bob Dylan at the end of it, and you can realize you need to get back to work and read more books. It's good. So uh, this is called Down to Old Mexico meets uh, Delay Thing. Ronnie is a genius percussionist. Uh, off to the moon is what this is called, and we'll try it one more time here. The gray sky, but the rain never comes. The men are full of violence, the greed made them numb. And war in the pipeline, war in the drums, they want it all. Nothing in the cover, no nothing they can use. You can't scare a father with nothing left to lose. Now, the family gets hungry, there's no path to choose, they want it all. Down, down, down to old Mexico. I'm going down, down where the poison rivers flow. Down, down where the lights are hanging low. It hurts to make a sound, it hurts to make a shout. Life won't let you in and death won't let you out now. Sin is something sacred for half the devout. They want it all. They'll make you pay to eat, they'll make you pay to eat, they'll make you pay to work to admit defeat and until they burn I said I will not sleep they want it all down 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 to old Mexico I'm going down down where the poison rivers flow and down down where the lights are hanging low you and me right
It's an honor to be back here. Thank you, guys. I'm going to give you one shameless plug because we've talked about this before. Those of us that don't have big bulletin boards up and, uh, you know, major labels and all that good stuff, those are good things. Sometimes it gets hard to know where we're playing or for us to communicate with you. Please, folks, I make gooding music on all the sites. Hit us on Facebook, Instagram, all that jazz so we can let you know we're touring. Ronnie, where are you at, brother? Yeah. Wait, Ronnie Brock? Dot com? Yep. Please say hello. We always write back. Please say hello. Thank you. We love you guys. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Gooding. We'd love to see you back again. And yes, as Gooding said, just like both the websites, Facebook. So we're here. I'll be staying in Boulder in for a while, I guess. So remember, we'd love to see you. Keep music alive.